What's up everyone? Here today to bring you this month's game update video. Uh, I have to slide over a little bit because where I normally do my videos, the puppy, he's deciding to nap right there. Huh. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. So, I have to slide over a little bit, but it's not going to stop me from doing my video. Got loads of stuff this month. Um, so we're going to dive right in. Super Nintendo, or Super Famicom, I should say. Got a copy of... Oh my gosh, open. Got a copy of A Link to the Past. Some do traded this in along with the Famicom version of um, Kirby. But I wasn't there for it. I ended up came, coming in later that day. And all I saw was this photo, and I immediately knew what it was and uh, bought it. It was ten bucks. Couldn't resist. So, yeah. For GameCube, got a copy of Mario Golf. This lady was trading in... Um, some GameCube games and a GameCube, but this one didn't actually have its case. But I used it to test out um, her GameCube, and it works fine, but I mean, the disc is a little bit scratched up, but we couldn't take it without the case. So she just ended up throwing it in our garbage, and I dug it out, took a crappy Madden game, and put it in a regular DVD case, and took its GameCube case, because I'm a stickler when it comes to the GameCube cases, and then made an artwork for it, and yeah, got Mario Golf for free. Can't argue with that. For original Xbox, got Agent Under Fire. This is one of the games that you can use to mod your original Xbox. I'm happy because it's a Bond game. And I've beaten it a million times before, but it, that's not going to stop me from, from playing it. So, yeah. I was happy I got that. For the Wii, got um, Link's Crossbow Training. You okay, little guy? <laughs> got Link's Crossbow Training. I know it's not much of a Zelda game, but um, it was $2.50, and I just thought I'd get it just for my Zelda collection and stuff. PS3 got Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. This one we actually got in, I was doing a used box, which is like stuff we get from our warehouse, and I was looking at a Incredible Hulk Season 1 set, and behind disc one of that set was just this game chilling there. And since it didn't have a case, again, we couldn't put it out, and... Since it wasn't someone's trade, I couldn't just give it back to him. So I asked my manager, I was like, hey, since we can't really do anything with this, can I just take it home? And he's like, yeah, sure. So put it in a Blu-ray case, made a box art for it. As you can see, it's pale, but it's not really pale, but that's the only box art I could find of it that was decent. And got that, so got another game for free. Woohoo! Also for PS3, speaking of pal, this one actually is pal. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I wasn't sure if I already showed this or not, but if not, here it is brand new. And if it is, then here it is again. Look at him! Wow! Okay. So, um, but yeah, it's pal. I knew immediately when I was filing it out, I saw the spine. Because for some odd reason, the pal versions, there's always, there's, it's so bland. It's like just white with black text, not like the colorful actual writing. And then I turned it over and I saw that, and I was like, oh. So I bought it. <laughs> uh, for the Wii U, we got Star Fox Zero with Star Fox Guard. This game is so much fun. So much fun. I know a lot of people complain about the controls. They are a little bit hard to get used to, but once you get used to them, it's it's so easy. It's like Star Fox on a big three on a DS. That's pretty much what it is. You really have to use the touchscreen and the TV at the same time, and it's so it's so crazy, but once you get used to it, it's awesome. It's so awesome. For Xbox One, I got a copy of Quantum Break, along with Alan Wake. I have this downloaded. I have not played it yet, but um, this game, I've already beaten it, and it is, it is awesome. So awesome. I like this game, because I've beaten this one. I just couldn't put this one down until it was done. Although this one, I'm still trying to get medals and whatnot on. But this one I'm going back and playing through on hard and trying to find all the missing little um, collectibles and stuff. So yeah, but I love being able to run by people and they're running like in slow motion and then I just pop out of the time thing and I just beat the crap out of them and they don't even know what hit them. It's awesome. For PS4, got Ratchet and Clank, another game that I was so stoked when it came out. Um, played the crap out of it. Again, it's another one I just recently beat. Gonna go through and play it on challenge mode and um, try to unlock all the trophies and stuff. I love this game. It's a really well done remake, almost like um, how Gears of War Ultimate Edition is, where it's still the same story, but they changed up, you know, definitely the graphics and like things like that. It's like, 
it's a completely new game, but at the same time, it has that familiarity to it, the way some of the old levels looked and whatnot, so it was, it was really good. Really good. The movie wasn't bad either, but I will say that the movie had probably 50% of the cutscenes that the game had, so that was a little depressing, but, eh, what can you do? Also for PS4, got Uncharted 4. I literally just picked this up five minutes ago. I'm going to be playing it after I'm done with this video. I am so excited to play this. You have no idea, and I really hope that this means retirement and not death. Because if it means death, I'm going to probably cry. But we'll see. And then for handhelds, Game Boy Advance, I got... I got this. Street Fighter 6. This dude was trading this in, and my manager couldn't find anything on it, so we couldn't. We ended up passing on it, but the guy was gonna throw it away, so my manager was like, hey, just we'll take it. Like, we didn't offer on it, but he's like, we'll just take it. And then he finally showed it to me after the guy left. And we tried to look things up on it, we couldn't. So I tested it out, and it says Street Fighter 12 Peoples. Pretty sure it's bootleg. So, I don't know why my hand is so shaky today. But yeah, so he let me keep that. So yeah, I got a bootleg uh, Game Boy Advance game. That's three games I got for free. Hi, buddy! Hi! Sleepyhead? <laughs> um, also, for the DS, Scotch copy of Quantum of Solace. Uh, it's another one I've been putting off just because the back, it just looks really boring. But um, it was $2.50. I'm a Bond fan. It's the only one I didn't have on my DS. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. We'll see how that goes. For 3DS, got a copy of Hyper Warriors Legend. I put off playing getting this game as well. But I love the first one. I have it on my Wii U. And then we still had this brand new, so I just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it right now. I was gonna wait a little bit longer, but then you know I was just like, eh, I'll get it. Right now my whole life is probably gonna be consumed by uh Uncharted, but we'll see once I get to that. <laughs> um, and then for PC, we got Roller Coaster Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon Corkscrew Follies. This lady was trading in all these games and whatnot, and she had these two in here. And we don't do PC games, but again, I asked my manager, and she said it was cool, and then made both of these together a dollar. So all I paid was a dollar for both of these. Like, not, to, not, not two bucks, like just literally a dollar. And they're in really great shape. This one just has, the front of it just has some sun damage. And then this one was actually just missing its front artwork, so I had to go in and uh, make my own. But, um, other than that, you know, these are in really good shape, so I was super stoked that, uh, I got those. Alright, so now, for, um, accessories and whatnot, I finally got me two GameCube controllers, because I had two fake ones. I had a GameStop one, and then I had a, uh, one that looks like this black one, but it doesn't have Nintendo on it, and the Z button's going. And the GameStop one is actually crap. So I got a black, orange, and then I already have a blue and a silver, so I have like one of each color and then a wave bird, so I'm super stoked to get that. Um, and then I got two of these cables here. This one I bought first. It rattles. Oh, of course it's not doing it. Oh, there it is. It rattles to try to mod my Xbox, but what sucks is none of my flash drives would work with it. So I finally bought another one that actually came with one that the guy showed it worked, and it does. So, um, got two of those cables. Not bad. And then got this thing, which we didn't know what it was for the longest time, and then we figured it out. This allows you to hook up your Xbox One controllers to your computer. So, bought that, so I can use my Xbox One controllers with my PC. And then we have a Mario Amiibo, out of its case. This one is the special blue modern day one. I still have the classic one still sealed so and then I got this kill zone figure I think I paid a dollar for him too and then this guy I paid 80 bucks for my best one of my friends was up at a GameStop at the mall and she's like girl look what they got here and then I was just like hold on I'm coming up a Star Fox Zero statue I love it it's badass really well really highly detailed his base is really heavy too but he can come right off the base if you need him to for whatever reason but um yeah 
And then, last but not least, I finally, like I said, I finally got my old Xbox modded. Took forever. But, um, don't have too much on it just because... Where is my remote now? Where did I put my remote? Oh, there it is. Don't have too much on it right now. But, um... That's mainly because it's been such a pain in the ass to mod. But, uh... Right now, all I got on here is a Nintendo emulator. Which I still don't even understand how to get it started, to be honest, because it... Oh, never mind. Last time it went to, like, some menu thing that I didn't care about. control one-handed that's not working out too well for me but um so yeah I've got a uh, Nintendo emulator on here just got that on there this morning actually what well, sucks I have to restart it every time I want to play a different emulator but yeah, as of right now I got that and I've got a um, 64 one on here sorry about my hand being so shaky Reason, the stupid joystick at this part likes to just always go left. There we go. Oh, maybe it's just my joystick in general. Because it was doing that with Star Fox as well. But, um... Whee! Oh my god, will you stop? There we go. But, um... But yeah, so that's my modded Xbox. And all my other all my other goodies. And all right, sorry about that. Guys, my mom ended up calling my cell and um, you know, it, it interrupted the uh recording and whatnot. But I was just going to let it go and have a nice little title screen here. But I was in the process of cleaning up all my stuff and then I realized I forgot to show I got a uh, new shelf. It's the same as that shelf. <laughs> and then there's my little ferocious doggy. What are you barking at? Huh? I'm trying to be a big, brave man. Little tail's wagging. Anyway, so now since I was able to move things around a little bit, this now houses my 3DS, my DS, still PS1, and then this one chills on top because it's like the flimsy cardboard case and I don't want it to get crushed in here. And honestly, it doesn't fit. It's too skinny to fit all the way across. So it just chills right there. And then um, this shelf, the Wii ends down there. So that's why I have two Wii games starting up here. And then again, it's Xbox One, PS4, PS3. But now down here is I pulled out all my PC games. So now all these are out on the bottom here. And that kind of gave me some room to uh, reorganize the bottom shelf down here. I can never reorganize the top because just the way it is, there's no way to really fix it. But um, down here, I ended up um, putting all my Genesis that was in the front, up top, up there. I moved the Super Nintendo that used to be all lined up back there, all nicely straight here. And then they continue here to here. And then I have some of my Japanese, like Clampshell, um, uh, Mega Man X2, and the Zelda um, Link to the Past hides back there. And then these are just kind of in front of it, and I kept this here, and it's just over here. So I think that looks so much nicer. It's nice and clean and whatnot. But, um, yeah. So, really happy I got a second shelf. I, if this thing runs out, which Lord knows it will, I, I'm gonna have no room to do anything and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's the game update. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!